This is the Wear Your Pajamas to Work Day Challenge. So I'm here at the house. Uh, I just had to stop in for a little while, take some packages in, and um, I'm actually getting a new mattress. It's funny because I work at a mattress store. I should have the mattress I love, and I thought I did. Rewind to a few years ago. Got a mattress called a Geltex that I love. And I slept on it for a couple of years, and I really loved it. At one point or another, I kind of felt like it was too soft, and Madison was moving out, so I was like, all right, well, I've got this mattress. It's in perfect condition. Um, I'll give it to you. And so I got something called a Purity Latex, so like a, a high-end latex, latex mattress that should have been like the perfect mattress for anyone. So I've been sleeping on the Purity Latex for, you know, six months or so, and it's just too firm. I love soft mattresses, and I really don't know why I thought the Geltex was too soft. So I sold my Purity Latex, and now I'm getting a hybrid mattress that's made locally. It has latex and memory foam in the top, and pocketed coils, like, it's nice. So anyway, I'm at home to receive a mattress from my own mattress store, from my own delivery guys. So I was like, all right dudes, I'm gonna go to the house, clear a path, and then y'all head out in about 30 minutes. So anyway, pretty excited, new mattress. I don't know how old or new your mattress is, but having a great mattress is a fantastic bonus in life. Waking up, being like, yeah, this mattress is great. That's, that's something I never experienced before we sold furniture. And really, when you have the right mattress for your sleep style, it's fantastic. I've been sleeping on a mattress that's too firm for a while now and I'm sick of it. Finally lined up getting a new mattress, so I'm happy. Number one most important thing, unless your mattress is already old and weird, is to put that mattress protector on and never do anything without the mattress protector on the mattress unless you take it off to wash it. And then while it's washing, like close off your bedroom so nothing happens to your mattress. Keep those mattresses brand new. My guys are gone. They dropped off the mattress and left and uh, got the mattress protector on. And now I'm gonna head back to work. Oh, I've got some sheets in the dryer. Um, now I'm gonna head back to work though gotta take off and when I get back I'll have some nice fresh sheets yeah life is good I'm gonna be sleeping like a mattress wizard tonight so I came back to the mattress store and uh, finished my editing and now we're about to roll out got to go run some after work errands that's the bad thing about getting done at 8 when you have to go run after work errands it's after 8 o'clock but the bright side is most days I don't have to wake up till 10 a.m. a video of noodles is getting some steam is it 23 views Oh my gosh, look at that. So earlier Amanda was like, let's go. She hasn't been feeling good. I think she's getting re-sick. Like she was sick with one thing, then I got sick with something else, and now she's getting sick with what I had before. Woo! So she was like, let's go. And now she's stuck to this device. We're out of here. So I absolutely wore my sweats to work today. I just called it wear your pajamas to work day. And you know what's funny? I felt good about it. And I actually noticed I had customers wearing the same stuff. Like I wore like jogging pants and a hoodie. I had customers wearing the same stuff and I don't think anybody even cares. I mean, I'm in a mattress store and we always joke like, wear your pajamas and we'll give you a discount. For real though, if you come in and wear your pajamas, I'll give you a discount. No, but seriously, I always joke about it. And so wearing my pajamas to work, when I was leaving the house this morning, I was kind of like, I even took a pair of jeans and a flannel with me in case I needed to like convert to regular guy clothes. But that never happened. It was a nice day in the most relaxed clothes I could possibly wear. The only issue was I was almost too hot. It's like, it's cold outside, but you got the heat on inside. So it's a never ending, never ending balance of cold and hot between indoor and outdoor. See, because I don't know, I don't know what it's like in places where it's really cold, but here in Texas, it'll be like, let's just say 50 degrees outside, which in a lot of places that's not even cold. So it'll be 50 degrees outside, and then we'll run the heat on the inside, it'll be like 80 degrees inside, way too hot for like comfortable relaxing temperature. You come in from outside, and then it's like, bam, it's hot in there. 
It's like, oh no, turn that damn heater off. Turn that damn heater off. I set our heater on a setting where it barely came on. A couple of times Amanda got cold and she turned the heater on and then I got hot. But I have a fan by my desk so I just kicked the fan on and that solved that. So anyway, no issue with like, no social issue wearing my sweats to work. The only issue was with climate control, really. So it was a good day. I wore comfy clothes all day long. I think if you have your own business, you should implement wear your pajamas to work day. Absolutely. Right away too. Waste no time. Get comfortable now. After work, I went to run errands with Madison, and when I got home, Amanda had already put the pillows and blankets on the bed. Our new mattress is taller than our old one, and it it looks awesome. <laughs> it's not necessarily more practical to have a taller mattress, it just looks good. Uh, a lot of customers come into our mattress store, and I'm like, what kind of mattress do you want? You know, firm or soft? Or, and they're like, I want a tall one. <laughs> so, that happens. So I had to pump up my lights in here. We have hue lighting in here. And normally all the lights are set to cool settings. Um, look at all these lights. They're all hue bulbs, so you can set them to do really cool things. I use a I use an app called Lampshade, and they can like like dip in and out of colors, and it's really cool. Um, maybe someday I'll do my whole house like that. It was expensive to do just the bedroom, but without further ado. My tall ass bed. So completely aside from the height of the bed, I'm super excited to sleep on it. I know I, I know I like it already. Um, I've sold a lot of them in my store. I've laid on it a lot. I know all about it. Um, I just had been kind of putting off getting the new mattress. I think everyone does that. Those dogs are squeaking like mad. Come here, Noodles. Let me show you the camera. Say hello to the camera. A lot of light, huh, Noodles? So anyway, what I was trying to say was I'm really excited to sleep on it. The mattress I've been sleeping on has been too firm for me, and I'm seriously like waking up, tossing and turning because of my mattress. And I tell people about it all the time at the store. I'm like, well, they'll come in, they'll be like, I'm tossing and turning, my shoulder hurts, and they'll be like, oh, well, your mattress is definitely too firm. I'm a mattress wizard. I should have done this sooner. I'm a mattress wizard. I should have got that new mattress sooner.